Good morning, Forest Grove. Hi, my name is Marlene Matico. I was raised in a Christ-following home on a farm near Arlie, Saskatchewan. Sunday was always a day of worship. Sunday was an integral part of my life and the lives of my two younger sisters. This is where I learned the many stories of the Old and New Testament. At the age of nine, during a series of meetings in our church, God got my attention. I can't remember much about what the speaker was talking about, but I do remember as clear as yesterday, the question was asked, if you were to die tonight, where would you be? I knew heaven would not be my home. So that night, after we got home from the evening service with my parents, I asked Christ to be my Savior and Lord. I certainly went to, to bed that night at peace. Walking the Christian life was always a challenge, and now as I think about it, it will always be a challenge. Our church presented many opportunities to serve and was always involved in missions. At age 13, I felt God urging me to a deeper commitment to him, so I was baptized in Eagle Creek. I know that sealed my commitment to following the Lord. I went to high school in Purdue, where being a teenager and believer, my faith was constantly put to the test. After completion of high school, I was headed to Briarcrest Bible School for a year, and there was no way I was going for a second year. Deep down inside, I was restless and knew God wanted me back there. One day in September, long after school had started, Mom and I were in Midtown Plaza, and we met up with Dad's cousin, who asked me why I wasn't at Briarcrest. Oh dear, at that moment, I knew I had to go back. God was clearly speaking to me when, at least, when I least expected it. I was a month late, but the school welcomed me back. April 1974, I graduated from Briarcrest with a Christian education major. God taught me many life's lessons and never let me go, even though I tried running. I went to nurses training at Kelsey Institute, and following graduation from training, I went to work at the Regina General Hospital. While in Regina, a friend asked me if I was interested in going on a missions trip. I felt the Lord leading me to serve with Venture Teams International for a year. I had the opportunity to go to the Philippines, India, and Korea. Many things that year impacted my life forever. I went as a team nurse and also a member of the team as we presented Christ. I had the opportunity to see the medical work in clinics and hospitals in India. That is something I will never forget. I experienced God work in different ways overseas than here at home. One experience was a lady had given birth in her village and was bleeding to death. She was not expected to live. We were called to go and give her intravenous fluids. The day was hot, and as we were walking, we prayed for guidance and her, and her healing. Halfway to this, to this lady, we met an individual who informed us the bleeding had stopped. Wow, that just doesn't happen. I know she was saved by the prayers of God's people. I enjoyed my nursing profession for 40 plus years and I am retired. God continues to work daily in my life through his word, prayer and music. About a month ago, I attended the Listening to God evening here. It was a powerful evening. Once again, I realized there were several areas in my life that needed forgiveness and refining. God has been faithful and daily supplies me with his living and forgiving grace. My life verse is Galatians 2.20. I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I have been attending Forest Grove since the mid-90s, and it's time for me to join the church. I would like to become a member of this church. <laughs> yeah. I would like to become a member of this church to identify with this local body of believers, to commit to serve here and be accountable. I close with the words of the song from Mercy by Matt Redman. Mercy, mercy, as endless as the sea. May I never lose the wonder. Oh, the wonder of your mercy. Thank you. All right, thank you. Just wait, wait here. Wait here.